Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. I'm your host Nobody and today we're going back to Instruments of Destruction. At first we got the KMB30 Scorpio by Neo Runner. I've seen quite a few other creators uh, make videos on this creation right here. It looks absolutely cool. So we got some nice little treads for leads. Very fast, a lot faster than I expected here. Interesting turning. R, oh, R is for the tail. So how do we get the tail up? And I assume, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So the claws are on a nice little toggle here. Let's see how destructive they are right away. Very slow. Very slow to respond. But it is eating the building right away. That is nice. Let's go ahead and get the laser tail going. It is absolutely destructive. Just like that. Both of these buildings should be down. I'm gonna raise these claws nice and high. Nice prance attack, slam them down. And yeah, absolute, it, it's, it's madness. It's absolute carnage with this thing. And it looks like we're holding a little bit of the, the roof of this building. For our next little stuff, we have the face lasers. Very destructive. Uh, I think they're even more overpowered than the tail. We'll go ahead and turn those on too, why not? Yeah, absolute madness. Then I guess for the last building here, we will just go ahead and ram. And and there's no hesitation at all with this creation. It is very, very destructive. Try to clear it off with some of these lasers. Get out of my face, man. Overall, the aesthetics of this creation are super, super nice. I love the color scheme. I love the complexity even. It's going to be really, really hard to top this creation as far as aesthetics is concerned, but we will try. On to the next one. Okay, up next we have the UHT Goliath by Neo Runner. You can definitely tell this guy is ready for war and destruction. Very fitting for a game like this. Uh, it looks like wherever you look on this tank, there is cannons to be had. I do see some rocket pods on the sides of the turrets. Very, very cool design. Got some decent tank steering, very responsive. And we'll just start hitting buttons. We'll line up with this uh, this building here preemptively just to make sure we don't do anything silly. We got E. Oh, okay. E and Q, very intuitive control scheme on this tank so far. And we got, let's try to zero this back in. I wanna be aiming for this building in case we fire. Oh! And there goes the rocket pods. Sadly, we missed. We will try that again here in a minute. And what does F do? F is the main guns, and they are guns. All right, now that we have the control scheme down, let's go ahead and reset and see what this thing can do. All right, so I'm going to try to come at these buildings at an angle. I really want to give these rockets the best possible opportunity to deal as much damage as they can. And I think that is a pretty good spot. It's going to be hard for them to miss. And there they go. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. And we do have a little crazy rocket here. All right, so that wasn't too bad. We did get one building knocked out. Let's try out these side batteries here. The side batteries are very destructive. Nowhere near as destructive as the main guns. But all we gotta do is turn that around, and yeah. Basically, as soon as they come into sight of this gun, they are dead. Very impressive creation. The design is definitely on point for best showing in this video. And on to the next one. Okay, up next we have the Laser Disco 2.0 by Grave Digger. This is a fairly straightforward design, not too complicated. And you can tell there is a shit ton of lasers on this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of plant it in place and see what we can get going. Oh, and there we go, already. Already. Let's go ahead and turn it up. Oh man, even for a split second, that did mad, mad damage to these buildings. I'm kind of shocked this one at the end is still standing. How can we get this thing to rotate? All right, we'll just wait a minute for that to start speeding up. Is that really as fast as it goes? It doesn't change much. It does not. But, you know, 
know, not really as destructive as I thought it would be. It definitely took a minute. But very impressive showing, though. It's more of a spectacle. But with that, on to the next one. Okay, up next we have the Bringer of Light. I do not see the creator's name, so let's see what we can do. All right, so this is obviously for the Bringer here. We'll go ahead and bring that down. I don't really know what to expect with this creation. I'm trying to line up with this building as best we can. It looks like we're going to maybe hit it, depending on what this guy does. So let's see, one. Oh, oh, and there it goes, it's gone. Oh, that, that was cool. That was really, really cool. I wasn't expecting that. So I just pressed one to get that result. Um, what does two do? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a cluster bomb. A very gelatinous uh, rocket here. So we're just gonna hit one, let it launch. And then when we get close, we hit two. And my, it's, it's wild. That is wild. Yeah, that that was quite the spectacle. Maybe not one of the more destructive uh, creations we've looked at so far in the series, but but as far as an outright spectacle, that one surely was it. All right, then this one we have is Guitar Smash, and again, no creator listed. Okay, very very simple creation here. I'm gonna go for the uh, the girthy building here. It's definitely warranting a good smashing. All right, now that we are up close and personal, we're gonna turn down our downforce and we are gonna go for that smash. Oh! And it did a number on that thing. So with that little bit of knowledge, can we burrow a hole straight through this building here? All right, we are lined up, guys. And for the guitar. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we definitely did our little smash through the top. Very, very funny. But overall, I think I'm going to pick the Scorpion as the number one winner for aesthetics in today's showcase so far. If you guys agree, leave a like. And if you do disagree, you know, feel free to tell me what you preferred in the comments down below. I'm interested to hear your feedback. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.